From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh, bop. What's up, YouTube? This is D. I'm standing here in the bathroom. You're probably saying, why is D standing in the bathroom? That's not cool. Men don't shoot any pictures of the bathroom. But yeah, my bathroom pig. You got a problem with that? This is the man cave. I'm comfortable with my masculinity. But anyway, the reason I'm standing in the bathroom is because I'm doing something down here that I don't do in the main portion of the house. And I'm using one of my favorite items, one of the best items the Aquarius can have to do it. And I'm going to show it to you right now good old distilled white vinegar and what I'm doing with this white vinegar is I'm cleaning my return pump yes that's right one of the best things you can use to clean the pumps white vinegar is old school I know I'm gonna get a thousand replies or whatever say oh no I don't use that it's vinegar yeah since the beginning of time vinegar is an acid it's one of the best methods of removing corrosives from any plastics metals or components especially coralline algae so i'm going to show you how i use this vinegar and i did it already so i'm going to just take you through a little bit of the process so let's go so one of the reasons i'm in my ba my basement bathroom is because vinegar is really strong and when i use that white vinegar to smell they all i've got to hear people nagging my wife nagging oh it smells like vinegar in here but one of the things I do is clean my pumps. I've been neglecting the main tank. You guys have seen a lot of videos of the frag tank in the basement. I've been extremely neglecting the main tank, the 125. So I'm gonna show you what I do to clean the uh, pump and what I use to uh, do it with. You're gonna need one of these. The other Aquarius best friend, the turkey baster, you're gonna need this to spray that, that vinegar throughout the pump and inside and out and so forth going to need a good scrub brush uh, to scrub that coralline algae off once you get that vinegar soaked in nice and you're going to need a little container big enough to fit your pump as you can see I've already cleaned out my pump and look at the gook that was in there one of the problems that I had is I thought my pump was actually dying but when I soaked it in the vinegar guess what came off the impellers look at this big old clump of algae that was inside the impeller and attached to the inside. Only when I dipped it in the vinegar and sprayed it throughout the pump did that come off and all of a sudden I understood why it wasn't running right. One of the other things you're going to do with the brush, which is why you need a brush, clean any intakes or strainers that you have, mainly this one. I'm going to try to hold the camera here so I can give you a good shot here. But anyway, put this down all right if I can get that to stay for a minute or so all right that'll do it all right so what I do here is I get this brush get the little screen soak it in the vinegar for a while when you get it out you want to before you rinse it off you're gonna go in and stick those bristles in there Get through all of that coralline algae because coralline will regrow if you don't get it off good it will grow right back just like any other algae so you want to get in those bristles and make sure that you get them clean you can see through them clean then you want to rinse them in fresh water of course you're going to rinse anything that you put in vinegar you're going to rinse it good in fresh water even soak it for a while Make sure you get that vinegar out. Vinegar is an acid and it will affect your pH. So you want to give it a good rinsing. You're going to use the turkey baster to get all inside of the pump. Let me get the pump here. Alright, so this is me old mag pump. Don't ask me how old it is, but it's old. I've soaked it. You can see it's pretty clean now. I've soaked it in the vinegar. And this is how I flush out those little baddies. You want to take that vinegar, get it in where those impellers are, soak it. I've already done that just to get all that gook out of the impellers. We forget that these return pumps are running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. You want to give it a good soaking in fresh water. It doesn't need RO water, not like that. Give it a good scraper, which I've already done. Get that coralline off. And this is how you want to clean your return pumps. You can see even scrubbing, you got barnacles and things that are really hard to get off. 
I use my fingernails, but those aren't a big thing. But imagine if they're on your impellers, they can greatly reduce the effective flow rate of your impellers. That's why I have a hard brush to scrub that off. There we go. Nice. All right. So now let's fast forward and take a look at the pump in action now that it's nice and clean. One of the good things about that vinegar is when you finish, you empty that vinegar out in the sink. And it's one of the best things for removing hair, claw drains, good old fashioned white vinegar will do murder to any hair you got in your lines and it's much safer to use than liquid drainer. Doesn't harm your pipes. It's environmentally safe and friendly. And it cleans your nails a little bit. But anyway, over here, we got the pump all ready to get fired up. So let me dry off my hands so I don't electrocute myself. That would be a bad thing. That would be the last video you see. All right, plug here. Let's fire it up. All right. All right. Look at that. Now, I thought that pump had seen its last day. It is kicking. And that, my friend, is how you clean your pump. Put on fashion distilled white vinegar. All right, so leave your comments below. Got any other ideas on how you maintain your aquarium, how you save a couple of bucks, how you take care of your tank? Shoot me a comment below. I'd like to hear from you guys. Maybe I'll shoot a video on it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Peace, love, peace, and hand grease. I love you guys. See ya!